What's going on guys? One of the most important pieces of equipment that you will need besides the bone cones is a quality rebounder. Yes, you can use the side of a building. Yes, you can use a handball or racquetball court or a hockey rink as a wall. But the problem with that is they're not portable. You can't move those things around and take them with you. You can't bring them to the field. You can't bring them home. So a quality rebounder is very, you know, important to have. It's significant if you want to have good sessions. Whether you're training alone or if you're a coach or trainer like I and you have to train clients, a rebounder is clutch because you can use it as an extra player as well. I've had tons of rebounders throughout my years. You know, some good ones, some bad ones. The one that stands out the most to me as being, you know, the most reliable and the best so far is the one from Quick Goal. It gives me flat passes. It gives me angled passes. It's durable. You know, it lasts for a long time. I've never had one break. You know, it doesn't move around every time I kick it with a ball. It's, it's, it does the simple things well, and that's what I like. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I use the rebounder from Quick Goal for you know, training myself and also how I use it to make my sessions better when I train my clients or how I use it also as an extra player during my sessions. So sit back, enjoy the video, and you know, maybe really think about investing in a good quality rebounder because I'll show you, man, it's very important. I've had this rebounder for such a long time. Here I am back in the day in the local park using that board, getting touches. I've also used it here in my original space, you know, the flat portion of the board, working the ball on the ground. As well as on the ground, I've used the angled feature as well in my old gym, popping the ball with my chest, taking touches. Again, I'm just showing you, I've had this board for years and years and years. I use this rebounder so much to train my clients, but to be honest, I use it just as much to train myself. Here I am getting left foot touches, now I'm going right foot, which for me is my weak foot, so it's so important for me to get these reps up on my weaker leg, and this board helps me do that. In addition to that, I always go you know, left foot, right foot, alternating, you know, just to make sure I'm working both feet at the same time. That's also a good thing to do as well. In addition to one touch, you gotta make sure you go two touch to make sure you work that first touch. So I'm trapping the ball with the inside, I'm trapping the ball next with the outside as well. Working different parts of the foot is crucial when it comes to you know game-like development you know because you never know where the ball is going to come you got to be comfortable with all parts of the foot now that's why i'm going next to footwork different patterns here i'm going touch l turn pull to start touch it wide l turn pull continue make sure you work both sides and mix up your footwork now i'll probably change it to a new one next one is going to be kill scissor touch and cruyff again there's no right answer there's a million patterns that you can do have fun with it, be creative, and make sure you mix it up. By the end of the day, you're getting better regardless, so enjoy it. Also, it's very important to make sure you work on turns. Specifically here, I'm working on the outside chop. Obviously, you can go inside chop, you can go step overs and croifs to turn. It all adds up, it all works, it all gets you better. Enjoy it. Now I'm using the angled feature to get the ball off the ground and work juggling. Now I'm going one touch. Now here, I'm going multiple touches. You know, find that board, having it pop back to me, and making sure I control that ball and keep it off the ground. To sum it up, man, that board gives you so many good touches and it gets you so much better. In these videos, you'll see how I use the rebounder as like a third player. You know, my client combines with the board, then he combines with me. Now, instead of, have, instead of having two players, we really have three, because the board helps us. You know, before the board was on his side, now the board's behind him. He turns, he combines, boom, and gets in behind. You'll see that again here with this player who has a one-touch pass off the board, aka his teammate, and has a shot at goal. So it gives me an extra player. I also use the board as a dummy, a decoy. We work on bending the ball around the board here to score. We also work on using the board as a defender and beat that defender and slide it into the goal. You can use that board for a lot of different things, man. I love the angled feature of the quick goal board. We know in real games the ball isn't always on the ground. You have to be able to deal with awkward service and get the ball back down while under pressure to keep possession for your team. We also use the angled feature when going to goal because we know it's not always easy to score when balls are coming out of the air. Can you get it down, get control, and finish? In games, the ball is flat, but also sometimes the ball is bouncing. Can you hit it off the bounce and shoot? This angled board makes it awkward. It makes it game-like, and that's why I love this feature. Now you guys can see how beneficial a real quality rebounder really is. I've had the quick goal rebounder for years and years, man. You saw I had it outside. I had it at my old gym. I now have it in my new indoor space. It's great. It stood the test of time. It's consistent. And that's what you want in your training It's consistency. You saw I use it alone by myself. I use it as a third player when I'm training my clients. I use it as a defender. I had it flat for you know straight passes on the ground. I had it angled to pop the ball up for different drills. 
that's all you really need, man. Keep it simple. Have a rebounder you can trust. And I can really vouch for Quick Roll because I've used it and I've been using it session after session and it has not backed down or, you know, lost its quality one bit. So do your research, invest in one. It'll definitely take your training to the next level. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you guys next time.